Hello Commanders, Commander Plater here, back with another Elite Dangerous video, and today I'm going to tell you where to find Pattern Epsilon Obelisk data, which is of course needed to unlock the new Guardian Hybrid Fighters. And do bear in mind, you need 78 to unlock all three. The good news is, Obelisk data is much easier to get than the Vessel Blueprints, but it can take a little bit more time due to RNG. There are a few things you need before you head off to go get the Obelisk data, and they are a ship with a decent jump range, and a ship that can hold an SRV. Again, I do recommend you have a ship with an advanced discovery scanner, but that's more of a nice to have rather than a must have, just for bonus exploration data from the whole process. Sounds pretty simple so far, right? Well, the good news is, is that it is, and it's going to be throughout the whole thing. One thing I will mention now is this will involve logging out of the game to the main menu more than once, so if you do consider that an exploit, then this method is not for you. I personally consider there to be far too many pieces of data required for the unlocks, so anything to reduce the grind is fine by me. Also something to bear in mind as well, there are some different options available for those people that don't agree with board hopping. So onto the where. We need to go to a Guardian Ruins. No, not one of the newer structures, one of the original sites. The one that I recommend is located in Sonufi XR-H D11-102, and yes this location will also be in the video description. At this location there are actually two Guardian Ruins next to each other, which means if you're adverse to board hopping just fly from one to the other and you should be good. What makes the site so good for all that obelisk data, not just the Pattern Epsilon, is that there are four active obelisks very close to each other. When you arrive in the system, the Guardian Ruins will show on your navigation tab as they will be within 1000 light seconds of the system arrival point. Fly to the ruins and land close to the large section of obelisks pictured here. There is plenty of space for landing big ships, so don't worry about that. Once landed, you need to get out into your SRV. Depending on how close your ship is to the obelisks, you may need to dismiss it as your turret in your SRV will not work if your ship is too close. The obelisks you want to scan are the four you can see me scanning here on the screen. They give you a selection of obelisk data, not just Epsilon, but Alpha, Beta, Delta and Gamma. Once scanned, you will need to exit to the main menu and log back into the game. I recommend just using the solo mode of gameplay, as this isn't a particularly social activity, and to instancing, the instance will not reset, and therefore the obelisks will not reset, unless everyone is out of the instance, which is just too much hassle for me. So to avoid board hopping, all you need to do is leave this particular site and fly to the next one over. You go up into orbital cruise, you come back down again to the other site, and there you go. Your immersion isn't broken, no exploit land at that site, scan the obelisks, come back to the other one, rinse and repeat. Now which data you get is down to RNG, so you will get Epsilon data, just be patient. And of course you can repeat this as many times as you need. And there you go commanders, a quick fire tip on how to get Pattern Epsilon obelisk data to unlock those sweet Guardian hybrid fighters. Thank you very much for watching, please make sure you do like and subscribe and also turn on notifications so you get an alert every time I put a new video out. Also whilst you're there, if you're looking to support the channel please check out the links in the video description as there are a couple of different ways to do so. Once again, thank you for watching. Commander Plater, out.